having applied math and statistics in one department is unusual, but I think it matches the directions that these areas are going. They're becoming very computational. That's what's tying the, the, the two fields together. And they often work on many of the same problems in biology and technology. You have uh, th these different perspectives coming together to solve the problems and having them in one department is very useful. My work is very clinically focused. I, I'm trying to inform decisions that oncologists need to make. You know, should I give this breast cancer patient chemotherapy or not? Or what form of chemotherapy may be most effective? I start with a fundamental question and then collect the data or, or bring in the data that may be useful to, uh, to answer that question, usually uh, genomic data about the tumor. What's new about it is I'm working backwards from the clinical question to create just the right mathematical or statistical tools to answer the question. We have a number of people in the department working on cancer research both with people outside the university, but uh, extensively in the university with the Harper Cancer Research Institute. There are huge opportunities there, and, and uh, Sharon Stack, the director, has been very receptive to forming uh, interdisciplinary collaborations. It's really one of the hallmarks of, uh, of Harper. At Harper, we have a lot of great collaborations with ACMS faculty in a variety of areas, including uh, big data, 3D image analysis and reconstruction, and computational modeling. I do research on molecular mechanisms of metastasis in two model systems, ovarian cancer and oral cancer. Ovarian cancer is a very devastating disease. The five-year survival rate is quite low, and um, it's because most women are diagnosed when they already have metastasis. The uh, metastatic environment is very complicated. It's within the peritoneal cavity, um, and instead of one tumor that can be easily removed surgically, there are hundreds, if not thousands thousands of small tumors spread throughout the peritoneal cavity. So we're trying to understand what regulates metastasis with the goal of how to stop it. So we've been collaborating with ACMS on trying to do that. They're using a computational modeling approach to trying to understand the unique force environment in the peritoneal cavity and how that might affect metastatic success from ovarian cancer. And what we're hoping is that, that we can use some of the information that they give us to design better experiments or to really better understand the the molecular interactions that are occurring. We always knew that cancer was a family of diseases, but now we have a lot more molecular level information about cancer, um, such that it, every individual tumor it has a pattern of mutations. We require collaboration with faculty in ACMS, um, such as Steve Bigler, uh, June Lee, to help us unlock that information and tell us as cancer biologists and people that are making experimental models what to do with it. What are the important patterns? What are the important mutations that's present in an individual's tumor. Uh, this helps us also design better diagnostics, better therapeutics that are personalized to the DNA and the RNA that's in an individual patient's tumor. The, the ability to collaborate with faculty in ACMS has enabled us to do things in cancer research that we couldn't do at most other places in the country and that's enabled us to become a better cancer research institute. Another area is it is in global health, which is an area that uh, Notre Dame has been very active in developing. Uh, uh, Fang Liu in our department is a biostatistician who's created some very influential um, collaborations with researchers in the uh, Global Health Institute here. So one of the collaboration work I'm doing with researchers on campus is, is called Spatial Repellency Project. Uh, this is a project that's supported by the Gates Foundation. And in this project, we gonna test the efficacy of spatial repellency, uh, which is a new, produ new paradigm for uh, control mosquitoes. Um, so I'm the only statistician on this project. Uh, in my role, I help the team to develop kind of innovative uh, study design uh, instead of a traditional study design. In terms of the uh, data analysis, I think the malaria project provides a perfect opportunity to, opportunity to develop a new statistical methodology as well. Um, so the data actually is very complicated. 
uh, the complexity can be reflected in several aspects. So you, the data actually is multi-layered uh, in terms of the spatial uh, perspective. And within each village, you have house, and within house, you have individuals. And the individual are the uh, where the data come from. Uh, so when you do the data analysis, you have to consider this multi-layer spatial correlation, how to take that into account in order to uh, get a valid statistical inference. If you look at the statistical department uh, across the country, uh, most of them just focus on theoretical and methodological research and put less efforts and focuses on interdisciplinary research. Uh, but I think Notre Dame kind of take a different view and think that excellent methodological research is motivated is motivated by collaborating with people of different backgrounds. It's motivated by working with real data. Our approach to interdisciplinary work is we'll go find the problems and develop the connections. All science is fuel for, for our research. We can take data, work with experts in the field, and create mathematical models that lead to insights in, in those areas. This is a, a very exciting time for the department and our field, that the opportunities are huge. Our, our, our student body continues to grow. Our research opportunities continue to grow. Uh, the, the world is collecting massive amounts of data about huge problems, and they need tools that can help them solve it.